Should I be eating little and often? Is a question I've been asked recently and what I've been asked many times over the years. Less so in recent years, actually. 10, 15 years ago, that was all the rage in the fitness industry. FitPro has recommended to their clients the six small meals per day because apparently, as with breakfast, that turns you into a fat burning machine, boosts your metabolism, and so on. And really, it's the exact same answer as with breakfast. It's the total, the average across the day and the week that dictates the direction you go in, not how frequently those things are broken down into. So if we were to have, let's say, 2,000 calories, X amount of protein, fat and carbs, vitamins and minerals and what other, any other consideration around food that we might make in terms of what it does for us, and if we were to have it in three meals or six or ten or one, the research shows time and time again it would make no difference whatsoever. Now, often the caveat with things like that is that, um, that all else being equal, because often decisions do have knock-on effects. Chances are, if we eat differently, it doesn't end up being exactly the same. And that can go in either direction. So for some people, they find that having smaller meals more frequently throughout the day contributes to them eating less overall and or making better choices in other ways. For some people, it means they end up eating more. There is no right or wrong. Again, it's finding a way that works for you. Again, boosting your metabolism it isn't a thing. There is no version of events where the amount of energy your, your internal organs and your muscles and your bone need in order to function is changed immediately by how much food you've just consumed. That does not make any sense. Our metabolism, our basal metabolic rate, is how much energy our body uses at rest. And that, again, is dictated by our body composition, all that sort of stuff. And on top of that, we've got our activity levels. The only way that a change in, in frequency and timing of food affects our energy needs is if it makes a difference to our activity levels. If it makes us feel better or worse, and therefore we are more or less active, then it makes a difference. It doesn't mean our organs, our bone, our skin, etc., starts using more energy at rest because we've consumed more food. So again, boosting metabolism isn't a thing. Turning you into a fat-burning machine isn't a thing. Eat in a way that works for you, whether that be preferential, logistical, circumstantial, financial, whatever it may be, as long as it's ticking the boxes of what needs to happen for you to work towards your goal, whether that be total calorie deficit, whether it be enough protein, enough vitamins, enough minerals, and if you're not sure what those requirements are, those boxes that you need to tick, just ask us and we'll help you see what they are.